Last night, the leaders discussed their approach to the Spitzenkandidat, who's going to be, have the top jobs in the EU in the next mandate. What are your thoughts on that? I mean, do you have a view on who is the best candidate or who's the most likely candidate to be the next president of the European Commission? Thank you. Uh, well, I think, um, frankly, that you know, it, it doesn't really matter what is going to be the process, although I know that this is very important and crucial to set out the process uh, that would work. Uh, what is more important is to choose the right candidate. I think Europe right now needs a very strong candidate, with ca highly charismatic, energetic, a, potentially a woman, somebody that can communicate uh, about Europe. because. If we can agree on something, is that Europe does not communicate well about its uh, success. So I think what is necessary is, you know, a candidate like Vestager would definitely play the role well and will clearly be highly communicative, and this is what people need. On the other hand, of course, if we go towards a more conservative approach, we could have a candidate like Barnier, which is clearly a good candidate um, because of his experience and because, of course, he already had the agreement of the 27 member states back when it was about, you know, Brexit was the deal. So I think, um, bottom line, the two seems to me to be the most likely candidate to get the job and probably the best candidate that should get the job. Public affairs company looking at the next mandate and the big issues that are coming up what sort of expertise do you need? I think, you know, the, the, the topics that are relevant for the next commission are clearly climate. Climate change is everywhere now. You have seen, you know, all over Europe this green wave. Uh, of course, economics and migration. Those are the three topics that will be on the political agenda for the next commission. So, but again, you know, these topics will remain whoever is in charge of the Commission. What we need to choose now, it's a symbol. It's somebody that will push forward the European people, somebody that can show a new moment, a new um, strength in Europe. And this is why we need a strong leader at the top. Europe has had a very tumultuous time of it over the last few years, the economic crisis followed by the migration issues. Uh, you do need somebody who's able to make difficult deals and to get people around the table and agree, knock heads together. Absolutely. You know, she has been on the job as a commissioner for five years and she was fighting against, you know, big multinationals. She brought home, let's say, some uh, very hefty fines against, you know, big corporations. So she's used to deal with big corporation and before that she was a, a minister in her own country. So she has a long experience. She clearly can manage the job. She can clearly find a compromise when she needs that. But on the other end, she's also fair enough when to fight for a different solution when it's needed. So when we need to push hard, I think she could be the candidate who she would be able to push hard. So we've got four main contenders, I think, at this moment. Uh, the Manfred Weber, Franz Timmermans, Vestager and Barnier. What, what would you say about the other candidates? Broadly speaking, uh, what, are the, what are the chances and what are the pros and the cons? I think the chances now are uh, the higher for Barnier. Barnier is clearly the, the man that ha can can be the compromise that politics needs right now if they need to find a compromise. And this is real politics, real politique. And at some point you need a compromise. And it would be, I think, a good compromise because he has the experience. He has shown during the Brexit um, negotiations that he can make good deals. Uh, we will see about the final deal, but he can clearly put together 27 different voices. So he is a strong man, he, is a, he has a great reputation all over Europe, so I think he has a great chances to make it. Well, we will see about the other candidates, but my fear is that the parliament will not be able to 
have a single voice to nominate either Weber or Timmermans.